Oh, what's up, everybody? My name is Mr. Paolo, aka Little Pablito. That's what they call me here in Spain, you know. Back in the day when I used to hang out here. No, I'm just kidding. It's my first time in Spain, actually, and I'm here in Tarragona. Why is this city important? It used to be the capital of Spain during the times of Roman Empire. You know, we take you on this trip, the dig at ASAP click. I'm gonna show you the best of Tarragona, best of Catalonia, best of Barcelona, and most of all, best of public why I sell your homie. We're in Anfiteatro de Tarragona, which is Tarragona's Amphitheater. <laughs> I'm in Roman Circus. As you can see, it's a UNESCO protected area. Uh, we actually got them for free, so we saved about three euros each. So that's that's six euros in savings. <laughs> um, for all of you visiting here, all you gotta do is enter through the exit. Just don't get caught. And this area is where the gladiators and tigers and all the crazy shit were getting ready to fight. This is basically what you call the light at the end of the tunnel. So. You're claustrophobic. You don't want to take these stairs. Since we burned like 5,000 calories walking up those stairs, these are well deserved. And they cost only, what, three euros? It's cheaper than France. As you can see, we're at the Cathedral de Tarragona. And you can see it's beautiful. You would not find only monks in here. You can also find some turtles and beautiful animals. <laughs> the best part. What's the best part? What's happening guys? So today is the second day in Spain. I'm here in Barcelona. Here we got Arc de Triomphe. Um, and as you can see they're building up the stage. Tonight's headliner is the one and only DJ Public in the building. Travel tip number six. If you go into the Picasso Museum, make sure you're a student or that you have a student card. You get a free admission and you have all the works of Pablo Picasso. Uh, it's pretty cool stuff. There's a lot, a lot of nudity, which is always good. Welcome.
you go to Santa Maria del Mar church, it's free after 5 p.m. Yo. So this is about it when it comes to sightseeing. And now let's move on to the consumer part of our adventure. So the first difference is the Starbucks. Some new information from Barcelona. You have to pay extra for, for soy milk, which is not cool. Not cool at all. Also, people in Spain, they love comic books. I guess they're huge nerds because I've never seen so many comic book shops anywhere else. Uh, it seems like Spanish brands, they don't really care about English grammar at all. <laughs> Just check out what I found at the Lefties, one of the Spanish brands. You've seen the opera singer in front of the cathedral, well, uh, there are different kinds of singers in Barcelona and we found this guy in Barcelona's metro and yeah, enjoy. Going to a grocery store in Spain is something else. You know, they have these huge fish tanks with like crayfish and lobsters and the seafood selection. Oh man, it's amazing. They have pretty much anything and everything that you can catch in the sea. They have all kinds of fish. They got shrimp, they got octopus and it's all fresh. You know, and then they have these typical Spanish hams, also called jamón, and they're just huge. And then naturally when I found Czech beer, uh, I felt very proud, you know, a little patriotic moment. They had the original Budweiser, Star Promen, and most of all, Pilsner Urquell. Representing Czech Republic. Today we are in the city of Reus. Reus? Catalonia. And it's a beautiful city. Uh, it's actually a city where Gaudi was born. Gaudi is a world famous architect. Also, this place is famous um, for its brandy, for its alcohol. There's some kind of festival going on. There's a bunch of bands with drums throwing through the city. You stop at the square right behind me. They do a little drum show. They keep going. At the moment, we have no idea what it is, but it's kind of fun. Let's check it out. Reu Samba and they end the parade over here on the stage. Right now we're gonna take a stroll through the street, which is the main shopping street here in Reus. Follow me through the vision of time lapse provided by Apple Inc.
had a great time in Port Aventura theme park. Unfortunately, they don't allow you with a GoPro to go on a ride. So I actually managed only once to have a GoPro on a ride, so I have one action video. But the rest I had to leave it in my backpack. On the other hand, we had uh, my girlfriend's little brother and he shot us on his iPhone. So uh, we have some footage with fun Russian commentary. на драконе Хани, решили сделать перед шамбулой, ну и фиг с ними. Это была, ребята, горка Шамбала. Сейчас мы сейчас будем брать у них интервью. Ваше мнение в Георгии. Настолько классно, что слюни на майке. Понятно. Это было интервью. So we're pretty much done in here for the van tour. Um, we rode basically every single one of the big ones. Uh, we got the express ticket, so I suggest that it's 30 euros more, but uh, you get to be the first one in line, which is great. And yeah, it was a great day here in Porta Ventura. It's not just a yacht, it's a yacht with a yacht and of course a chopper. We went to the Barcelona Aquarium. You know, it's, it's a pretty cool aquarium. Uh, they have a lot of fish, they got some penguins, they have sharks. They have a really cool 360 degrees tunnel that you can actually feel like you're in the water. It's a perfect spot for selfies. Um, yeah, it's fun. The question is if you really want to spend 20 euros on that. Although they do have a student discount, 10%, <laughs> so you save about two years. Now this is the 360 view. This is your spot for selfies. Apparently in Spain it's not Dunkin' Donuts but Dunkin' Coffee. And it's have to be the same thing. Like the Cookie Monster and the iced coffee. The trend in Spain, you can even smoke in Dunkin' Donuts. Or Dunkin' Coffee. I don't like this trend. So we're on a night tour of Barcelona. Um, right now we are about to see the Gaudi Design Villa. As you can see I'm in the fisherman clothes, got the bucky hat. Got the shark on the shirt. Little fish on shorts. The house is called Casa Mila and it's right behind me, ladies and gentlemen. Huh? Right now we're walking down Passage de Gracia. As you can see, it's the Champs Elysees of Barcelona. Louis Vuitton, a uh, pretty busy place during the day, not as much during the night. 
Another Gaudi design building behind me, the Casa Patio. Let's get closer and check it out. Amazing. As you can see, it's pretty busy even during the night. People are admiring the beauty. <laughs> Uh, Plaza de Catalonia right now. I see a big mall. Oh, it's sales here in Spain. So if you want to go shop for clothes, definitely July, mid-July, August. Here in Barcelona. It's not about Eating at Hard Rock, going to Denny's, or even DJ Friday. Over here, people go to Obama. That's right. I was the one who told you first. The restaurants in Spain, they have some kind of entertainment for their guests. Sometimes it's a band, we saw some street dancers earlier. Now it's classic dance. It's a pretty cool stuff, something we miss in other countries. Barcelona nights. <laughs> we up in here, baby. Good morning, Barcelona. We are in front of La Sagrada Familia, a.k.a. the Holy Family. And when I got off the metro and first saw the cathedral, my reaction was kind of like this. What? This shit's crazy. Just look at it. They got a skeleton, they got Jesus Christ, they got a cross, they got another Jesus, uh, some graffiti, more crosses, more graffiti. It's insane. I love it. I love it. I can't get over it. Just taking a moment to admire this beauty. We're about to go to Gaudi's Park. And what you can see right in front of me, it's an uh, amusement park in a church that's overlooking Barcelona. Actually, if you zoom in, you can see that on top of a church there's a Jesus Christ, which can remind you of Rio de Janeiro. It's right there. <laughs> right there. There's the Ferris wheel. <laughs> and there's the church with the Jesus. That's the TV tower. <laughs> okay, are we here in Gaudi? They're trying to make us pay 80 euros. Take some nice pictures. This shit's too much. We are now in the path of three crosses, aka Tros Croas. And you can see the beautiful view of Barcelona right behind me. And we are at the Gaudi Park. We decided not to pay the 8 euros. And that's why we're waiting until 9.30 when it's free. When there is gonna be basically no sun, so we won't see anything, but it's gonna be free. Two hours in Gaudi Park, we fi finally got in for free. Um, but actually, most of the people got in for free because they let you in for free at 9:30 because there's no natural light. But for those of you who have Photoshop, you can just add the natural light later, right? So if you're traveling to Barcelona on a budget, just like me, or if you just don't want to pay 80 euros, go here at 9:30 and you're all set. Gaudi forever represent. He's my homie. <laughs> These guys with huge bags, uh, they're selling some fake Louis Vuitton, Michael Kors, handbags, some Yeezy shoes. And once they see the cops that are driving around, they just pack it up and they keep going. Once the cops leave, they just 
set it back on the ground, start selling. Can't knock the hustle, yo. To get to the connection to the airport here in Barcelona's metro, you need to take barely amount of escalators. Just watch. Okay, this is it guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. Uh, I hope you had fun while watching it. I had a great time in Spain. Big shout out to my girlfriend and her family. Big shout out to DGF ASAP. Check us out. We are a non-profit organization. Um, just find out more on our website. Check me out on Facebook or Instagram. I'll probably be posting more travel videos as time goes by. And let me know if you loved something in my video. If you hated it, just let me know in the comments, you know? Sorry, dude. Holla at your boy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> Sorry, dude.